Hey there guys, welcome to episode 17 of Virtual Tennis 4. Yeah, you heard me right, episode 17. Oh, we're gonna go to the final big tournament. Because we are serious players of the game. New York already qualified. So many people that like aren't actual tennis pros. And I get put against Roddick first round, because fuck it. There are literal matches that are like nobody versus nobody. I'm in I'm in a match with Roddick first. That, that's how that one's going. Just to make that one abundantly clear. The game is like, you don't get to play against nobody, fuck you. Oh my god, fuck off. Ow, that's bullshit. It's like when when a brother's playing with a baguette, you just can't can't keep the ball in. It's not about keeping the ball in, it's about playing with a badass baguette. So. Dirty footprints everywhere. My wellies. Who oh, you? Yeah. Damn it. For one second, just go, who oh, you? Yeah, and win. Right, it's too fucking good. For his own good. Oh, come on, there, there. Check them wellies. Check them hot pants. This look is just perfect. I don't ever need to change that again. Bouncing the ball with his baguette, so you don't give a shit. Serious tennis. Serious tennis while dressed as a very non-serious man. How do you? Yeah, basically I've gone back to my very old ways of just playing at the net. Just cheaping out all the jump shots. Because the game pushed me to that by making everyone I play against do it instead. So I might actually win a tournament by virtue of the fact that I'm just playing cheap. It probably would help if I didn't do things like that, though. But yeah, see, we're getting, we're getting, we're already getting to Deuce. If that's where we go, way faster than we did in Wimbledon. Way faster. Game me. Ruddick to serve. Serve sort of pitch black, that is. See, that's exactly what I should have been doing before. He's got them big serves, apparently. That's that's his apparent talent, is just a big serve. Like, that that's not a talent I could see being particularly practical at all times. So, that was some bullshit. Let's see, this, this match is going very quick. Unlike Wimbledon or some of my other previous matches, since I've given up playing well, matches matches go real fast. Once you once you play at the net, you either lose fast or you win fast. Okay, I probably couldn't have. I probably could have done better than Varun at the net, but that should have been out. I swear to God, that like went so far back. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Puns. Oh. See, check that shit. That was ridiculous. That should have been out. Come on. Don't give me that shit game. Really? Oh. 
show that sweet fancy dress moustache on me. There we go. Play forward. See, do you see how far back that went on the first bounce? To me, that's a little bit ridiculous. That was just real bad on my part. I refuse to lose. Otherwise, this will be a very short episode and I'll be very disappointed in myself. There's no making this episode longer. This is like... <laughs> this is the end of the game. There we go. 30-40. That's a bit better. Yes, we're going to do the least. I feel a little bit safer. I can actually win the match. Check that dive. Fucking nope. You got the advantage. This weird looking face there. Put your weird face forward. Thank god, that was such an easy deuce to get. I feel I feel like the game very much gives the player a, like but not at the advantage. A real advantage in the game. Considering it was like, yep, you want our advantage, so you can have a real easy point there. Advantage player one. <laughs> advantage player one. My polka dot booties feel better. My wellies. Beautiful wellies. Well, don't fuck up the net play now. Oh. Oh, yes! Yes, match for me. If you couldn't tell that, I, th I thought that was going to be a lot tighter than it was. Like that shot, not the, the match is pretty damn tight. I thought that shot was going to be tighter than it was. From the fact that I was like. And I made a weird noise and everything. So that took so much of my condition out. I'm not happy about that. Because now I need to beat Djokovic. Of like the three actual tennis players in the in the tournament. I think we're going to have to fight. I think I'm going to fight. I think I'm going to have to play against all three of them. A fact that I'm not happy about. Especially because one of them is Del Potro. Who took me fucking 12 minutes to beat last time. It took me quite some friggin' time, and what the fuck was that mean? Fuck you, Chuck, I've beaten you before. Don't you give me that shit. Oh, come on! Seriously? I know it's cool to see me juggling a baguette, but nonetheless. It's a bullshit game. 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 Stop doing that. Oh, come. Game. I know where the ball's gonna go. He knows where the ball's gonna go. Why don't you know where the ball's gonna go? So you can help me hit the ball. Watch me like break his point back now. In the most ridiculous way of trying to win a match. Let's let's not watch me do that and let's watch a far slower, longer rally version of what happened in the last game instead actually. Yeah. Fat man Jones. Pop the jam. Yeah. Fat man jump. Pop 
the jam. There we go. 15 all at least. I actually got a point. I managed to hit the ball back and him not hit it back at me. Yeah, that's what you bread swing. <gasps> I'm actually ahead of him now. Oh my god. I might break his serve. The game might like me for a second. Probably not for that. See? Probably not for that long. As I predicted, you know, got to, got to 30. The game just went, nope. You wanted to win? Fuck that. Oh my god, I actually got another point. Holy shit, game. Stop fucking with me. Please, for God's sakes, let me break his serve. Yes! Yes! Nope. Looks like it might go the same way as it did last time. I won't be happy about it if it does. I made that very- Fuck sakes, game! Yeah, looks like I'm gonna just lose on my own serve. Straight. Not even get 15. I swear to god, if I'm on love at the end of this serve, like I was last time, I'm not on fuck's sakes. Seriously. Seriously, game! Fuck. You. Novak, Djokovic, fuck you, Virtua, Tennis, four, fuck you, Sega, fuck you, world. Djokovic then went on to win the entire tournament. And I didn't even break 700 stars. Yet, at least. I at least got one award. Two awards, three awards. That makes me feel a little bit better. Doesn't take me over 700 stars. I mean, admittedly, it puts me back at 69 with a 6 on the other end as well, just more fun. 696 makes me feel a little bit better. See you guys, I'm not a star player. But that's it. I won't ever be a star player. I'll tell you what. I at least fucking beat Theron Tenniel. Took the entire goddamn game. But I beat Theron Tenniel. That's, that's something we all have to celebrate about. Let's, let's watch my beautiful tour record. Now that I've got 20 G's for clearing the world tour. I thought I'd done that already. But okay, I'll take another achievement. Let's look at let's look at what I did. Some fun things. This isn't the first this isn't the first region. Then then I'll go through all the other regions. But yeah guys. I'm gonna say What what are the games telling you about how 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 I've done? I, I, I want to say to you guys, I, I want to say to you guys how much I appreciate what you've done. Which is, I appreciate that you guys have watched this Empire Lads play, and I appreciate you guys having watched this video and all the other videos. All, all the other 16 of them. I appreciate that you guys have stuck with me through a 17 part Let's Play of a tennis game. And not necessarily the best tennis game on the market. And certainly not the best console the tennis game could be on. And I'm glad you guys have stuck by me, despite the fact that I'm not MOG at this tennis game. I mean, I like to say I am. But let's be perfectly honest. 
I'm not. I could be a lot better in this tennis game. But I just I just want to thank you guys. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. I mean, I probably would have still stuck through this, but nonetheless. Without you guys viewing this, it wouldn't have been as much fun to do. It really wouldn't. And I wouldn't have people to thank during this section, either. So thank you. Thank you for watching this episode. Thank you for watching this Let's Play. Now I'm going to leave you to watch the rest of these credits. But bye from me. And thank you. A true, deep, hearty thank you from the end of my first recorded Let's Play. Or at least finished recorded Let's Play, should I say. Thank you guys. Bye.